If you want to know how you can get your own specialized icons in the Explorer tab on Roblox Studio, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys, I welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial, we're actually not going to be scripting. If you've watched uh, some of my videos lately, or like since the beginning, whatever you want, you may have noticed I have these special icons for every services, or whatever these are in the Explorer. I have different icons than you do. You might be wondering, I've seen a lot of comments uh, involving like, newbie, how do I get that? What do I do? How did you get those? And that is what I'm going to be explaining in this tutorial right now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will enjoy everything of it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Like 10% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. The other 90% are not subscribed to my channel. So I would really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button, like the video, turn on that notification bell. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So first of all, go to the link in the description and you should go to the developer or devforum.roblox.com and you'll be on this side. I have dark mode on, I logged in, etc. And you want, and you can read this out, I don't really mind, but you want to go all the way to the bottom and click visit the vanilla webpage. And a big shout out to this dude uh, because he did all of this and I am just making a tutorial on it because a lot of you ask, as you can see, you have four different uh, things to choose from, or actually two, but this is in light mode and this is in dark mode. But you can choose with colors or without colors, just what you like. But you want to go all the way down and you will see vin uh, visit the, the vanilla webpage and you will go to a, some kind of GitHub uh, site. Don't worry, it's really safe. There, there, there are no cookie trackers or anything, so you can just click on it. So I'll do that too. And as you can see, you will go to vanilla smooth simplified icons for studio. And you want to click on customize your icon set. It will be right over here. So now all you want to do is customize them. If you want to do light, you can click on uh, you can click on light, and as you can see, these will be in the light mode, and this will be in dark mode on studio. And if you want only, um, if I would set it to light, and I only want black and white, I could just click mono or mono. I'm going to call it mono, and everything will be turned into gray, gray, black, whitish. And if you want to do colorful, you can do that too, like this. So you just want to customize them, whatever you want. And after you've done that, you want to click on uh, 16 pixels, uh, with uh, works with Studio. The rest will not work with Studio. Um, so that is what you want to do. And if you don't know how to do this, or if you don't want to watch the tutorial, click on how to install, and you will get this pop-up. And uh, go for manually. I will not be um, doing the mod manager, because you have to download things and all that stuff. We're not going to be doing that. So installing your icon set manually, this is what we'll be doing. There will be a screenshot uh, on the bottom right so you know exactly what we're doing and what I'm, and what I'm explaining. So after you've done this, you can click on download icon uh, set. So let me just do that real quick. And before you download it, you're probably going to get this pop up, but don't worry, just click on ignore and finish download. So after you've downloaded it, it should go like over here, dot zip, whatever it is. So as you can see, your download is ready. You can just click close and you can exit the side. But um, you want to go to wherever you downloaded it and you want to double click on the zip file and you should see this. I'm probably going to, yeah, you know, who cares about Winter? Uh, so this is your class images, as you can see. These are your images. Um, th that's how Roblox Studio works. But you want to get the uh, class images. You want to click copy, copy, let's see. I think it's copy files to clipboard. Yeah, why not? Copy files to clipboard. Just click that and let's do the rest. Okay, so the first step in the manual uh, note, whatever it is, is find your Roblox folder on Windows. It is percentage app data, uh, local Roblox, but that's not the case. It, it, that doesn't work anymore. So first of all, you want to go to percentage app data percentage, and you want to go to, um, so once you're there, you're immediately going to be in roaming, but you want to go back to app data, and there will be screenshots on, screen, on the screen, don't worry. You want to go back to local, and you want to find Roblox, and it's at the R. As you can see, a Roblox, and uh, you want to go to versions, and you want to go to the latest um, version. So in this case, it is 7th of December, 2021. So for me, the latest modified is 3rd of December, 
2021 so i will double click it and then uh we did the ver we, we did the second step now we want to go to versions and uh, now we're in the version itself and you want to go to content which is the third one and then you want to go to the bottom one which is textures and then you see a lot of folders but you really want to ignore those you want to find the class images one and uh you should see the normal roblox class images but you want to delete them just scrap them out now go back to your um zip file and uh click copy to clipboard as we did and you just want to paste it in the folder you just want to right click you want to click paste and it probably says the destination has already uh, the destination already has a file named class images just click on replace the file in destination and there you go that is really there's a simple way of how to do it and uh as i yeah that's just the way to do it but as you can see in the notes it says something to note if you're installing manually you'll have to redo this after every roblox update so if your roblox studio starts to update you have to do this again so uh but you just want to do uh you don't have to re-download the, the the icons you just want to uh do all of the steps from the uh the, like find your roblox folder go to versions blah 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 and that is simply how you get the icons and if you would launch roblox you will have these amazing icons for free and they're they look so beautiful if you would um if you would just click on replicated storage and just click the plus look at all those amazing icons so this is a simple way on how to do it and it may confuse you a little bit like hey the icons are a little bit changed what do i do but this is simply uh, a way to do it so if you did find this video in, uh, informative or whatever it is uh if you if you liked it give this video a like subscribe to my channel turn on that post notification bell so never miss out on any video i upload on my channel yeah that's basically it and uh, just like the video, and um, all I can say is that my name is Doobie, and I say peace out.